Mixed operations are single problems with at least one addition or subtraction and at least one multiplication or division. For example, the percent error problem that I have shown has both of those. It has an addition subtraction component and it has a multiply divide component. And so it is a mixed operations problem. Well, how do you solve these? Well, the first thing we'll talk about is how not to solve it. A way to almost guarantee that you're going to get it wrong is to take all of these digits in your calculator and multiply them out at one time. So when I take 98 and subtract 94 and then divide that by 94 and multiply it by 100, I get the digits 4.25532. The good news is these are the correct digits. The bad news is it's the wrong number. So, what should it be? Well, the best way to work a mix operation and get the correct answer is to use what I call the three box approach. And essentially, you're going to write down the initial equation. Then you're just going to work out the addition and subtraction, independent of the multiplication division. And then you're going to work out the multiplication division. So let's take an example, the one we've already used. How would we work this to get the correct answer? The first step we do is we work out the addition subtraction. And remember, when we do that operation, we count what? Places. And so let's work it out. I'm going to keep the underline because that's a divide. I'm going to not mess with the 94. I'm going to keep the multiply 100. So what I have to deal with here is the 98 minus 94. Well, that's going to be... Four. Why? Because remember from our plus minus, 98 is good to the ones place and 94 is good to the ones place. And so my answer is going to be good to the ones place. And so I just write a single four. Then the second step is where I'm only going to count or pay attention to the multiply divide. But remember the rule switches. When we deal with multiply divide, we care about sig figs, not places. And so now we can see this number has only one sig fig. The 94 has two sig figs. And the 100 is exact, so we can forget about it. And so our answer can only have one sig fig. And so whereas before I got a very long number, when I multiplied this out, I got 4.2. 25532, if you recall. How many sig figs can I keep? Only one. And so my answer becomes just a four. So remember, work in discrete steps. And finally, as a challenge, see if you can figure out if we had actually changed this to 98.0 minus 94.0. Still leaving it by divide by 94 and divide it by 100. Can you see where the answer would have wound up being 4.3 would have been your correct number? If you can figure that out and understand it, you're well on your way to be able to solve these problems consistently.